about the fight here, I mean, I know it's a big deal. There's the aspect of your contract coming up. Does that, does that in the back of your mind at all about what's next? Not in your business, not your fighting, your business, because your contract with Tom Brady's coming My main focus is uh, Sean Porter. Uh, all that we can talk about after the fight. Um, no thoughts about that at this point? About, I mean, are you happy with the job that Tom Brady has done on this event? Are you getting the fight, though? Am I happy about the event? That no, no, that Tom Brady was able to finally get this fight for you guys. Well, you know, I've put more to the KGO anybody else, bro, because they don't want to mandate it. But no, con no conversations about a new contract just yet? Huh? No conversations yet about a new contract? Not yet. Not okay, yet. fair enough. They both. Sean Porter has never been stopped in his career. He's never been dominated. He's been dropped in his career. He was dropped by Errol Spence. He was dropped by Adrian Rona. He was uh, hurt bad by Keith Thurman. In the inside were hooks. That seems to be your specialty. Your are industrious. You have power in both hands. Is that something you study? No, not at all. You know, I believe he got hit at the right uh, moment, getting a little careless. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm, I'm a different type of animal. You know I'm gonna see my opening. I'm gonna take my shot when, when the time is right. Now, now when it comes to back foot, how is that gonna take into effect? You still gonna be able to sit on your punches, catch him with the other cup like you like? You know he's coming forward. He's gonna try to stay in your chest, smother you. He may, he may not. <laughs> he may try to box me like uh, he did with Uzz. We gonna be ready for whatever Sean brings to the table come come Saturday. What, what what goes into the decision as far as you fighting Southpaw and Orthodox? Is it just something that you just feel in the ring? I don't know. Sometimes I just do it just cause. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> I don't know, it's just... Yeah, BMF on this water. Why do you feel Porter is going to be your toughest fight? I never said that. Uh, when you mentioned that, Porter, you, you put words in your mouth? I never, I, never, I never said Porter was going to be my toughest fight. Do you think it's going to be? I said be? each and every fight that I've fought in the past was supposed to be my toughest fight, so I can't say Porter is going to be my toughest fight when I haven't even been in the ring with him. Not what has been your toughest fight so far in your career? I would say it's a mixture of Gamble and uh, me and Machine. And what about those that made it different than all the other matches? I don't know. I, th I believe I made the Mean Machine fight harder than it could have been. You know, and Gamble, you know, I think I was still a little green, you know, and he was, you know, seasoned. That, so I'm excited by being at home for the first time? You know, I wouldn't even say excited. I would just say, you know, I mean, he was real skillful. You know what I mean? He did a lot of things right. And I started off doing a lot of things wrong. I just picked up on that. And, and then what was it about the uh, Kavalaskis? Hey, Mikey, he likes just me, you know what I mean? Be not being baby. patient, just fighting his fight. Do you think it was a knockdown? Oh, look at my oh, slam. No, I don't. I don't. Hey, hey, bye, bye. I have two questions. Um, first thing is, you, you were sparring um, Davis, and he fought David Benavides, and kind of wanted to talk about your overall thoughts about that fight since he was a sparring partner. Talk about, talk about my fight. Well, and the fact that you were sparring with someone so big and he was doing good performance with David, what, what brought you? Like, what made you bring someone so big into your sparring? You know, someone that's like 160 pounds, 168 pounds. Like, so well, we just brought him for the style. You know, what I mean, him and Sean, you know, got a similar style. You know, uh, you're not gonna get somebody identical to the same style as Sean Porter, but we take and use things that we can see from different opponents, and different sparring partners, and uh, put it all into one. And you know, I know, still staying on the same thing about your fight, Sean Porter brought in Javante Davis. Does that even matter, or your opinion? Not First sparring partner. Two different styles. Like he's short, short arms. I'm tall. So hey, hey, Bud, what you think about Jose Benavidez saying that he's been in the ring with you, he's far Sean, and Sean don't have nothing for you? What you think of that? I ain't got nothing to say about it, you know what I mean? He, he, he must know something, you know? Like I said, you know, uh, a lot of people was criticizing me about fighting Benavidez and this and that and that and this. And, uh, and Sean, I think Sean spoke about me fighting Benavidez and... You know, I said we're not going to say about the sparring match between Benavidez and Sean because it's, you know, we seen what, what that was about.